What's up everybody? I'm going to talk about the Lucia balance changes today. I posted a video earlier on Twitter and YouTube of a nifty little sweep combo that Lucia gets in, uh, on a, against cornered opponents. And it got some traction, so I decided I'm going to go into all of her changes in a little more detail. As you can see, you know, got the full list here. Going to pull up the game. Let's take a look. So, her first change is that her stun threshold is up from 975 to 1000. That's cool. A little harder to stun. Might make a difference. The next two are effectively the same thing. Her standing light kick and her crouching light kick both have less hit pushback and block pushback. Uh, not sure exactly how big of an impact this will make in real gameplay. I mean, a little better pressure strings like that, maybe? We'll see if that uh, if that's something that'll actually make a difference, or maybe there's some options there. We'll see how they work out. Uh, one that makes a difference for me is going to be the cancel window on crouch medium kick being a frame larger. It's a frame may seem small, but it makes a huge difference. So just being able to cancel it a little bit more consistently is going to be helpful. And the next one is crouching heavy kick buffs so the full duration is down to 31 frames from 32 startup is shortened from nine frames to eight frames which is actually kind of big uh, and th this is what the video I posted earlier on Twitter and YouTube was about was this combo it gives you a sweep knockdown in the corner which let's go normal so I forgot to set a wake up action. There we go. So that's his, that's Bison's uh, standing short, standing light kick, his three frame button. So. Meaty. So if he get, wakes up with a button, he's going to take a meaty every time. And that's really good for the normal recovery. Now on back recovery, it's a little different. I missed my button timing anyways. So, all of Lucia's buttons except for a standing roundhouse are too fast. She's gonna get she's gonna get reversal every time. So, the difference here is that you can instead do a little you can try to play a shimmy game a little bit. Or you can also just dash forward, delay the button a little bit, and then do the same thing. So you can still get meaties, you just gotta delay your button a few frames and then it'll work. I don't know how many frames exactly yet, it's something I'm gonna figure out later. Uh, the next change was EX Gunsmoke cancels into its derivative attacks as they put faster. This only makes a difference now for into the punch cancel which, as you saw, now comes out a low uh, crouching medium kick. Which is nice. It's not huge, but it's nice. It And it also makes uh, canceling into the... Uh, what is that move called? I always forget. Canceling into... makes can canceling into nubbing needle easier. So that's more consistent, which is also another nice positive change. It's not a huge change, but it's positive. Um, they buff the damage and stun that you get off of Firecracker. Oh yeah, it's EX Firecracker, sorry. 50 and 50. And then Oh, I almost missed the rough chase. Let's go jump. If I can make this work, it might be cool. Uh, I got it to combo once earlier, but I don't know how consistent it will be or if it's even useful. There we go. Yeah, that's a... Uh, not necessarily practical, I'm not sure why they made that change, but it might, someone might do something swag with that at some point. Be cool. 
Now, what I honestly think is the biggest change out of all of this <clears throat> is the change to EX Flipper Shot, which is the fireball itself. To be able to cancel out of normal firecracker into EX to mix up your fireball game. Instead of, you know, if you do normal firecracker, had to do normal fireball before. Now you can go into EX. It's going to change the way that the projectile game is going to have to be played against Lucia for any character that has a projectile, which is really nice for Lucia. She can maybe maybe play a little bit more defensively, a little bit more projectile-oriented. We'll see. I'm looking forward to trying that, testing that out, seeing how uh, opponents handle that. And then the next one... The tap kick buff, they they just shorten the decrease the startup, shorten the uh, full duration. Nothing huge, but also you know nothing to shrug at, I guess. Uh, oh right, <coughs> excuse me. They uh, they buffed the hitbox upward of ex nubbing needle, which is this move, so that it hits more consistently on airborne targets. Our airborne opponents and apparently they improved the collision box and sped up the second frame startup also and looks like they the normal or oh not V trigger EX numbing needle they extended the hitbox forward on the fifth frame not sure when exactly that is at this point uh, they decreased the pushback on her V trigger which I'm not going to know until I get to play some actual games whether that's practical or not or if that's a buff or a nerf it, I'm sure that it's meant to be a buff but you know sometimes it's hard to tell and then lastly they uh lastly they buffed her s critical art in V trigger 1 it does 20 more damage so normally it does 340 But in V Trigger 1, it does 360, which is 20 more damage. It's not a giant change, but hopefully it'll make a difference. You know, we'll see. Might make some games become, uh, you know, might finish some games rather than having them stretch on longer than they were before. So, you know, there's there's a bunch of changes. Us Lucia players is just gonna have to play with her and figure it out. See if uh, see if she's better. See if she's good now. Because, I mean, I always thought she was she was okay, but she has a lot of bad matchups. She loses against a lot of characters. But she might win a few matchups now. Who knows? We'll see. So, you know, if you guys got any questions or comments, put them below. And I'll see you guys next time.